So, ayan guys. Uh, this is the first ever uh, interview content natin dito sa ating channel, which is yung Real Talks TV. So, I have here my friend, Ian, which is a uh, legit gamer talaga. So, ayan. How are you, bro? I'm good. I'm good, guys. How so, ayan. Ang uh, content natin ngayon is uh, i-co-compare lang natin yung game na Mobile Legends versus Dota 2. So, parehas niyang nilalagay yung game na yun. And uh, let's see kung ano yung mga insights niya about that game. Ano ba ang uh, ano dyan, bro? Ano ba ang role mechanics ng uh, Mobile Legends and uh, Dota 2? Well, um, for me, napakalaki ng difference between Dota 2 and Nova. Although, they, they came from uh, the same, like, you know, um, the same um, concept, which is, yun nga, um, tower defense. Um, you need to, like, secure the enemy's tower and eventually yung throne but um, I think the role is pretty much diverse sa Dota 2 no? instead of uh, MOBA but don't get me wrong um, it's not really um, because na mas maganda yung Dota 2 or what have you but I think um, yung ML is designed for um, you know short games um, Dota can last up until like around 45 minutes um, while ML pwede mong tapusin yung laro as early as 10, 15 um, but nonetheless both are you know um, both came from the same MOBA concept, but um, in terms of enjoyment, I think parehas din naman sila. Um, but um, Dota 2 wins on complexity, I would say. Um, but uh, MOBA will, I think, win in terms of uh, convenience and uh, mobility kung paano siya lorin. So, very well said, no? Uh, mapunta naman tayo sa ano, uh, game mechanics. So what can you say about the uh, laning phase ng um, uh, both games? I would say halos magkaparehas naman sila in terms of um, early, uh, middle, sa end game. They both contain the same kind of facing sa, ano, um, sa laro. But um, I think what stands out in difference is between, um, I think, um, mid game and then the end game. So early game kasi both um, cores should farm, right? And then the support should roam around the map um, but in terms of mid tsaka end game I think the the separation there is yung mga um, key factors na wala sa ML which is um, creep denies, lane control um, aggro um, in terms of laning and I think yung buyback um, I think that's one of the biggest difference between um, ML I would add lol to it and Dota kasi um, sa ML diba, if if the enemy team wins a clash uh, malapit sa um, throne, then definitely tapos na yung laro. Um, you know, kaya nga may, I, I think that's the reason why may, ano eh, may um, concede in terms of um, ML cha LOL. Kasi yun nga, eh, it's inevitable pag natalo ka sa um, malapit, malapit sa base. Sa base. Right? But not unlike Dota, um, it's actually also a strategy for some na you, you try to um, like weigh in if um, buyback will give you more um, advantage. Kasi nga, when, when the enemy team throws all of their um, critical um, skills and meron ka pang second life, then that would definitely um, change the, game. Change the yeah. tides of the game. So I think that's the difference between sa roles or links ng, do, ng ML tsaka ng Dota. Okay. How about uh, items? What can you say about the items of both games? Um, items, um, I, I think what um, the difference, I think, is yung mobility. Uh, maraming ino-offer na mobility items ang Dota 2. Um, meron tayong Dotters. Uh, sorry, napaka-luma na nung term. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's from Dota 1. Uh, that's from <laughs> Dota 1. Pero, um, I think yun, Shadow Blade. Um, we have four staff. Um, we have... Um, Hurricane Pike. Yun, Hurricane Pike and, and the stuff, diba? So, meron pa tayong... The legendary um, Blink Dagger. Yun, Blink yes. Dagger. Right? I mean, um, crucial na item talaga in terms, in terms of mobility. Yun, I think. 
And um, second is yung mga Dutch items. Yan. Lincoln Spear, um, Yule's Scepter of Divinity. Yan, Manta mm -hmm. Style. Um, isa yan sa mga napaka um, um, underrated no? oh, na, underrated na Dutch item. Pero talagang kapag mga pro players gumamit, oh, kala mo. RTZ, Manta Dutch. Yan, exactly. yan, mga ganyan, no? So, um, I think that's the main difference. But um, uh, I think the reason why Emil doesn't have it is because it's straightforward nga ng laro, eh, right? If you if you win the lane and if you win a certain clash, um, that's it. Para sa akin, no need na ng mga dodge uh, ah. items. And, um, so, uh, we need to say these items can like turn the game around, no? Especially oh. Dumating sa crucial point na na-acquire mo tong item na ito, pwedeng mabago yung game. Oo, oh, and I think with the addition of the items sa uh, Dota 2 na you can find on neutral clips, um, I think that's something that is very different from ML. Kasi sa ML, you only get the buff, right? Uh, marksman buff, um, physical buff, or magical buff. Yun lang naman yung pinag-aawayan nyo in terms of sa ML. Eh. Tsaka yung shield and attack damage ni Turtle. Um, pero sa Dota, sobrang dami. Um, and you get tier items as you go along with the game. So, I think this is what makes Dota more complicated and more fun. Um, aside from, you know, yung diversity ng mga items na ino offer niya na you can buy. Um, tsaka yung, um, I think what is also crucial is yung ano eh, um, the item purchasing itself. Kasi sa ML, you purchase it anywhere on the map eh, right? Once uh -huh. you have enough money, Sige na, Click pwede it. mong build in. Done, nandiyan na. Pero Dota 2, um, may mga career snipe pa tayong tinatawag just to make sure that the uh, enemy team gets a delay on how they get their items. Um, nandiyan yung um, item. Which is crucial, no? Early, early in the game, no? Pag di mo nakukuha yung mga, like, uh, regenerations mo, no? Mm, exactly. So, mga, sobrang crucial ng mga gano'ng items. Yeah. So, secret shop and the likes, uh, minsan nga, win hour done pa yan, di ba? Just to make sure na madali yung kalaban nyo in terms of itemization. So, I, I think that's the difference. Okay. So, uh, short break muna tayo, guys. Okay. So, uh, mapunta naman tayo sa, ano, sa role mechanics ng uh, both games. So, what can you say about the course of uh, Dota 2 and uh, Mobile Legends? Hmm. Uh, this is pretty interesting kasi we have marksman core sa, ano eh, sa um, LOL and ML eh. Or um, may tawag sila dun eh, DR, right? I'm, I'm not sure whether I term it correctly kasi hindi naman talaga ako na-expose sa LOL, no? Pero um, sa Dota to kasi, we, we only um, get to have this core, right? So core comprises of the position 1, which is the carry, no? what they say, the safe lane. And then we have the mid laner or the position two, and then um, the off laner, which is the uh, position three, which um, acts differently um, based on the um, game. Well, we, when it comes to um, ML, I think what is not present um, is the off laner. Um, I, I think sa ML sa mga nagita ko sa games in terms of mythic ranks and what have you see. Uh, mid lane, whether it's a marksman or a mage, is being accompanied by a tank, right? So, which is, sa Dota 2, um, alam naman natin na sobrang iba yung role mechanics. The off laner stays on the, um, or sorry, the tank rather, or the off laner stays on a single lane. It's a hard lane, they say, kasi nga, it's one, and then you're being faced with a uh, core and then a support, right? Sa ML, um, it's more of like really bini baby ni yung ano eh, yung mid eh. um, um, I even see one three one lanes, which is there are three people um, on the mid lane. Tapos yung dalawang um, tao na sa top and bottom lanes. Which is solo, de ba? Oh, solo. So um, I think yun yung isa mga difference. Pero other than that, um, I think that diversity or the flexibility of heroes eh, uh, versus that versus the roles that you will play them with. Um, sa ML kasi straightforward eh. You can you can play a terit uh, carry to grill, I think. Um, mm. It is safe to say. Or more or less akay yung na carry build. Not unless nagtitrip ka, right? Uh -huh. Which is a classic pwede mong gawin. Pero when it comes to rank games, it is, uh, I don't know if we will have agreement of our viewers, but um, when you play this kind of, um, you know, parang different build, it's almost synonymous as losing. 
Kasi syempre, if you don't play the tank in ML, your your marksman gets exposed. So, mas madali siyang ano, matatarget. But in Dota 2, I think the heroes there, uh, I would safe to say mas safe sila in terms of diversity. Like, um, perfect example, Slardar. You can play them as carry and you can play um, as, a uh, as a support. IO. Diba? IO. Which is popularized by Ana of OG. Nakita niyo naman, um, it's kahit uh, sa... Diba? Kung paano niya ginawang carry yung ayaw. Exactly. Kahit sa uh, ano yan. And, and, we're, and we're not just talking about scrimmage or we're not just talking about rank games or casual gaming. Yes, this is the international. Exactly. Right? Diba? I, when, um, I don't, uh, I'm not sure but it's around millions and millions at stake. So um, I think that that's the uh, that's the uh, difference between um, flexibility of um, heroes um, versus their roles. Pag pinag-compare si ML and Dota, I'm not, uh, I'm not sure kung kaya ni ML yung ganong complex niya. Or I haven't played much to see that. Okay, so uh, follow up. So tingin mo, sinong uh, carry role ang mas uh, madaling uh, laruin? In both games? Yes. Um, hmm. Sa Dota to kasi, I don't believe that there is such hero na ano, yung parang malakas, yung imba talaga. Yung, I mean, it, it would really depend on the player. Um, yun, again, I would go back. Ana played um, IO on a multi-million um, game and he aced it. Diba? You, can't, um, you can't really predict whether itong, itong hero to would play a specific role. Eh. Um, so I would say, ako pero ako personal bias. I would think, um, I think ang pinaka um, malakas na hero ngayon, which I don't play by the way, um, which, uh, will be uh, Morphling for me. Kasi napaka napaka daming pwede mong gawin kay Morphling. Eh. Once he gets the agonims and once he gets uh, uh, a hero na pwede ng ipair up dun sa skill niya. Wala eh. Ang sobrang hirap niyang i-dodge. It's like hirap ano, no? uh, Morphling uh, Earthshaker, no? Mm, yeah. Which is talagang ginagamit ng TNC, guys. Yeah, exactly. Uh, uh, one of my favorite teams, TNC, is, um, or has capitalized rather uh, with that Morphling uh, ES strat. And I think most of the games, like I could safely say 90% of those games with ES and Morphling, nanalo sila. Um, So I think that will be uh, not I would say not the easiest hero to play sa Dota 2 kasi kahit ako ang tagal ko na nagdo Dota 2 pero hindi ko pa rin talaga na master si Morphling. But I think that is the mo uh, I would safely say that's the most strongest hero na pwede mong laruin sa uh, um, hindi mo siya pwedeng ipagsawalang bahala na walang ano eh, na walang counter or what have you. Um, sa ML although alam naman ng tao lang na kalaro ko ah, Eh, um, Hanabi talaga ginagamit ko all the time. Pero I will not say that um, she's the uh, strongest. Um, may mga win condition siya. Eh. So, um, um, I think isa sa mga player ng ML ngayon na talagang kapag hinayaan mo na pinik ng kabila, eh, talagang mahirapan kayo. I, I think the new hero, si Cillian. Um, napaka, ano eh, napaka imba ng mga skills niya. In, sobrang spammable like the first skill yung parang uh, I'm not sure what's the name of the skill pero yung bat parang bat driver what have you hmm. ayun napakabilis pa ng cooldown oh, napakabilis ng cooldown and talk about kaya niyang tumak even mage yung character niya so um, I think that's I would safe to say that right now he's the most um, banned hero uh, when it comes to uh, mythic um, games so ayun um, I, I think for Dota 2 that will be more fling I'm not sure it It might be an unpopular opinion. Um, pero ML, I think medyo most of the players naman would consider really si Okay. So, let's talk about uh, strategies naman on both teams. So, what can you say about uh, strategies sa uh, ML and sa... Uh, we know, uh, they, have bo- they both have different strategies, di ba? So, ano masabi mo dun sa mga strategies ng uh, Dota 2 and uh, ML? Um... So, when it comes to strategy, since the same nga lang din yung concept ng laro, di ba? Defend the tower, um, don't, let, don't let the other heroes get your throne, or um, break your throne, di ba? Parehas lang. Pero I think, uh, ang sobrang pinakamalaking difference ng Dota 2 sa ML when it comes to tra- strategy are two. Yung una kong sinabi yun nga, the buyback strategy, or the buyback mechanism ng Dota 2 which is not present with ML. 
Although merong mga may items sa ML, di ba? Na you you resurrect and then you have this certain amount of HP. Um, si Dota to kasi merong Ages of the Immortal and the back, Buyback. Although nun dati kasi sobrang unbalanced nung ano eh. Nung Dota 2 when it comes to buyback strategy, di ba? You have a lot of money, buy back all you want, di ba? Ngayon may mga cooldown na yung stuff. And I think this is one of the ways Dota 2 has matured over the past few years nung simula nung nilaro ko siya. Kasi um, every time that they see a trend na ina-abuse ng mga players, they, they get to change it. And yun nga, one one is buy back. So, um, I think that's one. And number two, the I think the map visibility itself. Um, si ML kasi wala pa siya ngayong ano eh, um, wala pa siya ngayong warding system. Um, not unlike um, if you know the game Vain Glory which is also um, like a MOBA type of game sa um, phone. Um, Bisin din lang sila nagkaroon ng 5v5 eh. That was around 2019, early quarter of 2019 I think. So yun, may mga warding mechanism ng ano, um, Vain Glory but ML is lacking that. So, ang para sa akin kasi, uh, map visibility is something that you would really need to take control of eh. Kasi sa Dota 2, uh, diba? sobrang difference lang ng, ano eh, ng map, vision, uh, no? map vision or yung tetawag nila high ground, low ground. Eh. Oh, Could potentially uh, make or break the game. So, yun lang. ML doesn't have that as well eh. Yung mga plane, uh, hindi pa sensitive sa um, time, tsaka hindi pa sensitive sa map planes yung um, ML. So, those um, those are one of the two uh, biggest things na pinagkaiba ng ML tsaka Dota 2. So, sa ML, straightforward. Okay? Uh, you either win by two conditions. Number one, destroy. <laughs> destroy mo yung lane ng kalaban mo. Make sure na talagang puguin mo siya. Which is, uh, most of the time, it's not going to happen kasi you both have set of skills tapos pares din naman kayo nag-earn ng gold even if you're not hitting um, clips. Siguro may small variance kapag iba yung ginagawa mo or you buy a certain item like the roaming item in which, di ba, hindi ka na nakikipag-share sa mga teammates mo ng gold. Um, pero other than that, para sa akin, napakalit kasi nung difference nun. Um, that's one. So, yun, advantage ng, ano, ng picking as well the ML. Isa sa mga maganda sa ML is that they have at least um, adapt the uh, ban face or the uh, banning of heroes. Yeah. Diba? Kasi kung feeling ko hindi mo ibaban yung mga certain heroes sa ML, baka ano eh, close down sa 20 heroes na lang yung pwedeng gamitin. Eh. Kasi everybody will get to like abuse kung ano yung capability ng hero. So banning face, although dalawa lang or tatlo maximum mga mythical um, range or mythical rank range tatlo yung pwede mong iban tapos um, as you go along epic tsaka legend you ban two diba? sa, M, sa Dota kasi the whole squad itself eh. limang, ano, eh, limang bans limang picks, limang bans and you know, segmented yung mga banning tsaka picking phase which is standing din naman sa I, I guess I mean meron din meron din sila um, yun, that's one so um, number two or sorry, number three rather, and I think ito yung sa mga malaking difference din eh, which is yung jungle control. Okay, in which, di ba, sa ML kasi, may binabantayan ka lang. Right? You you either secure your red and blue buff or if you want to be greedy enough, di ba, um, punin mo yung sa kanila, sa kabila, which is um, invading the uh, enemy's jungle. Pero sa Dota 2, sobrang dami. You, you get to have, siyempre, yung number one, yung itemization sa mga sa mga jungle neutral um, neutrals, items. Yeah. Di ba? Um, or neutral items. Number two, yung pag-pupul ng um, grips or stacking. Di ba? So, sobrang diverse. Eh. Na, I think kahit ako, I would safely say I've been playing Dota for 10 years, pero hanggang ngayon, hindi ko pa siya master eh. Kasi sobrang daming details eh. May certain time in which you need to pull the creeps. May certain scenario in which that you will pull the creeps para hindi makapag-level um, yung offlane. Um, there are certain times na hindi ka magpupull because you want to push the enemy tower. Ganun. So, ang dami. Sa ML, straightforward lang yung stream ng mga... Nung mga so, um, just creeps. kill the neutral creeps. Oh, that's diba? it. Um, ano ka lang, mag-spam ka lang ng skill. 
palakas ka ng item in you know tamang batuan ng ng skills sa class sa so, Dota 2 um yun sobrang daming kana strategies sa ang daming hero um ang daming hero um combinations na pwedeng mong gamitin depende sa strategy niyo is it a slow team uh, slow hero team strategy is it is it stunning is it disabling Diba? Mobility, oh, mobility ba uh, yun? Push strat ba? Diba? Ang dami. Sa Dota 2 eh, sa ML, simple lang eh. You get marksman, you get a core, um, a protect fighter, you get a tank. Oh, protect the marksman at all times. Yun. Um, I think, sobrang simple lang ng win condition ng ML. Well, but then again, um, I, I will just reiterate this. No? It's not really comparing which is better. Eh. Um, I think uh, Dota ang isa sa mga reasons we all know naman that right now Dota is like um, decreasing the number of their new players eh. um, the last thing I heard is that nasa around 100,000 na lang yung mga bagong player or as low as 55,000 yung bagong player each day um, not unlike ML, araw-araw I think millions yan um, people are playing ML and then again um the biggest advantage of ML among um, Dota 2 or among uh, among the uh, other um, PC based MOBA games is that syempre ito mobile eh. you get to play it on the phone syempre yung sandali lang diba? as early as 15 minutes kasa na, kahit naka bathroom break ka lang kaya mo tapos okay so post mo na tayo okay so uh, there you have it and uh, mm -hmm. siguro Final notes or final notes about the the games uh, Dota and uh, Mobile Legends. Um, I guess for me, like you know, I was playing um, these games ever since I was, I would safely say around college days. Maybe that's what way back 2010 or no 2006 rather. Dota one palangen ulalaro na ako eh. Um, what I'm really happy about is that um, there is a huge evolution of um this games um uh, moba games over the past few decades and i'm really happy to say that i was part of uh, that evolution no um i get to experience best of both worlds eh? from dota 1 up until to ml lalaro ko eh and um i think the only thing i can say is that um well we we can talk about all day about the comparison of which dota lol uh, Mobile Legends, uh, Vain Glory, Arena of Valor, name it. And sobrang dami ng MOBA games over the past few years, eh, di ba? Pero, ito ang masasabi ko lang is that um, I'm really happy nga na ganun yung community. At the same time, I am seeing a lot of um, new players. Um, and bottom line naman, it's what the commu uh, yung community. The, the, that's, what it, that's what makes the whole game um, enjoyable to play, yung community. Um, and masasabi ko napakaganda nung nabuong community ng the whole MOBA um, game itself kasi um, di ba dati pupusta lang yung mga player 50 uh -oh. pesos 100 pesos and now we're looking at a multi-million um, business and syempre nung bata ka you only get to play the game pero nung habang tumatanda ka na mature enough ay may pera pala dito uh -oh. and I think that's you aspire no yun, uh, maging pro player Man lang. Oh, exactly. And um, with that being said, I guess um, it doesn't matter what games you play or it doesn't matter what games you excel with. Whether magaling ka sa Dota 2, magaling ka sa ML, or parehas ka bano. So, dun sa parehas na games na yun. Mm. Um, but I think what is really promising is that this game, um, you know, will, will let you learn about few things na kailangan mo sa buhay. It's more of teamwork, camaraderie. Um, perseverance, patience, and um, I think I outside the gaming world, magagam. No, so um, I would say to all those um, aspiring players, um, I, I would say that you were very lucky because of this this is the generation that we have right now, na supportive when it comes to um, e games, and um, I would say this is the best time for you to thrive on this um, career. If you want to see this as a career. Diba? Uh, the future, would, future, no? The future, diba? May future. I mean, we're, we're not just talking about chismisan lang sa kanto na ganito yung premium. Yeah. You've seen it. Um, $22 million. Um, ML is right now offering around 
um, 500,000 pesos on a local game, if I'm not mistaken. Not bad. Diba? So, ayun. Um, just continue to play. Then again, it's still increasing, right? Mm, still oh, increasing. As the years go by. And so, yung masasabi ko lang, ending note ko, continue to play the game that you love, regardless whether it's Dota, LOL, or ML. Then again, you know your priorities and responsibilities as well. Alright. Thank you, bro. So, you? napakaganda ang insights sa both games. Mm-hmm. And again, we are done for this, uh, our first interview sa ating channel, which is yung uh, Real Talks TV. And I am your host, Kuya Kev. And this is my friend, Ian. And uh, see you soon again sa next video. Thank you, thank you. Okay. All right.